you ever imagined yourself inventing something new or discovering something important? We're going to learn about someone who really did those things. His name is George Washington Carver. To help you learn about him, you can ask your parents to print this free picture of George Washington Carver that goes along with our story. You can color the picture, answer the questions that go with it, and after the video, you can use the instructions in the Bible shape to enjoy some time with God, your creator, for yourself. And now, it's time for the first part of our true story about George Washington Carver. I've got a basket here with some stuff people can gather outside. Can you tell me what it is? What's this? I've got a crunchy brown leaf from our sycamore tree that grows a little bit behind our backyard. I've also got this. You know what that is? It's an ear of corn. That something has gnawed on just a little bit while it's sat in our backyard. My kids found that at a friend's house. I've also got, what's that? A pine cone. I've got, oh, this is kind of cool. I've got a acorn. It's pretty cute. I've got, ooh. I've got a bright red leaf with some brown splotches on it. And my very, very favorite thing, absolute favorite thing I've got in this basket, I've got, you know what this is? It's a snake shed. This is from where a snake shed its skin. Isn't that so cool? These are types of things that people can find outside. Have you ever collected rocks or plants or seeds or bugs or something else outside? Have you ever paused to think about how awesome God is for making that stuff? We're going to learn the true story of someone who did this a lot. His name was George Washington Carver, and here's a picture of him. He was a famous scientist who helped many people with his discoveries. But when George was a baby, something really bad happened. No one would have ever guessed he would become a famous scientist. You see, he was very sick, his parents died, and he was also a slave. It was awful. He was born more than 100 years ago in the state of Missouri. Back then, many people in the United States kept other people, especially black people, as slaves. This was terrible, but it really happened. The law said George belonged to Moses and Susan Carver, and they could do pretty much whatever they wanted with him and his family. Thankfully, Moses and Susan Carver were much kinder to slaves than most other slave owners. But one night, bad men attacked the Carver farm and kidnapped baby George and his mother. The Carvers tried to get them back, but his mother was never heard from again. Only baby George was found, and he was so sick, the Carvers thought for sure that he would die. His father was already gone, and now his mother was gone too. It looked pretty bad. But God had big plans for George. George got better, and he grew up. He was kind of weak and often sick for the rest of his life, but he never let that stop him from being extremely curious and excited about God's creation. Even as a little boy, George loved studying plants, collecting rocks, and enjoying God's creation. When George was very young, a new law set all the slaves free, but since George was an orphan, the Carvers continued to take care of him and his older brother, Jim. George called them Uncle Moses and Aunt Susan, and people eventually started calling him George Carver. As George grew up, he often helped Aunt Susan with chores in the house. Can you guess some of the chores he probably did while I pretend to act them out? What's this one? That's washing dishes. What about this one? I'm sewing clothes, or trying to. George helped Aunt Susan in the house with different chores, but every chance he got, he would go outside to collect rocks, investigate all kinds of plants, and even explore God's creation. Have you ever collected rocks? I have. George kept some of the rocks he collected for the rest of his life. George enjoyed hearing, seeing, touching, smelling, and sometimes even tasting amazing things God had made. So. I'm going to draw some things he may have enjoyed, and you get to see if you can guess what they are. Are you ready? Here's the first one. What's this? That is a bird. Now, George would have been able to see a bird. He'd have been able to hear a bird. In fact, he probably even tasted some birds because we eat some kinds of birds. 
So that's something in God's creation that George would have enjoyed. What about this one? You know what that is? It's a butterfly. That's something that George wouldn't have been able to see and enjoy in God's creation. How about this? You know what that is? This is something he probably would have tasted. And he could have smelled it and seen it. It's a strawberry. One last one. Do you know what this is? This is an easy one, I think. It's a flower. That's something he would have been able to smell and something he'd have been able to see. George was especially interested in plants. He even planted a little garden in the woods and studied the plants he grew there. George learned so much about plants that people called him a little plant doctor and even asked for his help with their own sick plants because he was so good at helping plants grow and be healthy. But George still wanted to know more. Aunt Susan taught him to read, but George still had so many questions about the things he saw in God's creation. I wish I could go to school and learn more, George thought, but he couldn't go to school because the school in his town was only for white children. That was very wrong, but it didn't stop George for long. George wanted to go to school so much that when he was only about 11 years old, he packed the few things he owned and moved to another town called Neosho, where they had a school that he was able to attend. He was so excited to learn. But wait a second, he's like 11? Where would he live? Who would take care of him? What's gonna happen next? To find out what happened next, you can watch George Carver Part 2 on the Kids Enjoying Jesus YouTube channel. You can also ask your parents to download a free copy of George Carver, God's Plant Doctor, from kidsenjoyingjesus.com. It's got the whole story and more than 25 bonus activities to help your family learn about God the Creator like George Washington Carver did. You can try one of them today. It's called Daily Detectives. You'll need paper, something to write or draw with, and a place you can go outside, or a book with pictures of plants and animals that God made. You can observe and discover God's creation like George Washington Carver did when he was a little boy. It's kind of like being a detective searching for evidence. Find different things God made and look closely at them for clues about how they're the same and how they're different. Think about all the different pieces God had to think of and plan as he made these things. Write down or draw some of the things you notice on your paper. Pretend to be a detective looking for evidence that God is very smart, very powerful, and very creative. And then praise God for making it super obvious that he is an awesome creator. George became a creation detective when he was young and he never stopped. I hope you'll become one too, so you can enjoy God our Creator more and more. Thanks for watching.